hey guys welcome back to the channel hope you guys are doing well in today's video we are going to be looking at our first ever footies official actual footies not an evolution an actual footies premium footies actually uh player review in our channel now this is gonna be the free card that everybody is getting from the season ladder now i know many of you guys will be like why are you doing a review on a free player that everybody knows about and everybody can get and everybody might use so the main reason i'm doing this is because this is a free card first off secondly not many people usually use a card which is 94 rated and nowadays because it is july guys it is july people will have 95s 96 97s and mainly be focusing on improving their squad and the people who come to this game really really recently who people have joined will be looking for decent cards now just because this is a 90 rated ps just because it's a 94 rated cdm not many people will be knowing about the true intensity of this card so to test the intensity of this card and to see how he actually is in game we'll be we're going to be doing this player review and i'll be trying to do most of the players in the season ladder and make sure that a video is documented in our channel so make sure you guys are subscribed and you know notification bell it's up to you guys if you want to edit or not subscribe you guys will get an idea of what all these players look like in game you guys don't have to take the struggle of going and putting them and playing i'm pretty sure you guys have to play with all the three players initially i mean pretty much every single player to complete the other objectives but in today's video actually without any more further ado let's actually get into this card fabinho 94 rated cdm premium footy card how is it gonna be in game before that let us look at the stats four star we could four star skill move not not bad at all not bad at all looks really nice high defensive work rate medium attacking work rate not bad for a cdm a center midfielder and a center back card so you can use this card in all these three positions and just because he's in rsl doesn't mean he's not going to be getting uh, uh, chemistry in the team he is a premium footies card so i think minimum at least two he should be getting and if you bring in another brazilian or two you should be fine i'm guessing that's how uh, premium works but looking at the next one his stats 90 pace 80 shooting 94 passing 91 dribbling 94 defend and 95 physical i am actually happy that this card for free has such good stats on paper now 90 pairs might look like it's a bit low but trust me for a cdm who's surrounded by midfielders who have good pace and defenders who have good pace this doesn't feel that much his defensive stats are very very important here his passing stats are very very important here so the two things we're gonna be concentrating in this video is going to be his passing his dribbling and his defense how good he is in these three positions now defending is going to be a bit of a tricky place to judge because i don't know how to review a defender but we'll try our best uh, but looking at his pace 91 sprint speed 88 acceleration not that bad like i said he has 94 short par so in case if he's there in the penalty box while taking corners if he gets the ball to his feet i'm guessing he can do a bit of damage and passing 99 short pass 94 long pass and 84 curve 88 crossing these are the stats which are really good like 99 short pass and 97 long pass are really good because he can get the ball out from your center backs or from the dm position on the field or the defensive positions to your attacking midfielders or to your right center mid left center mid to your strikers to your wingers easily with those stats now we're going to be testing that out heavily and next dribbling stats 93 ball control 90 dribbling 95 reaction we'll test out dribbling and ball control as well in this video make sure you guys stay till the end we are going to be doing squad battle reviews guys and another reason i'm going to stop here with the uh, player review and talk about this is because i have seen some comments not some comments i've seen one comment in all of this uh, player reviews that we have done in so many months there's this one comment i read recently which said uh many people don't watch your videos just because you do squad battle reviews now to that person in particular i have to say listen to me brother i do squad battle reviews because my recording time and my streaming time is different from you guys watching all around the world because i stream early morning or late at night and i have to record either in the morning streams or in the night streams and when i usually stream or when i sit for recording nobody plays rivals in my lobbies or in my servers so i have to 
sit and record squad battles and usually i can actually go for a silver or a bronze lobby and then just fake like i, I actually care about this video but i genuinely do care about making videos and i want to make the best content that is out there and so that you guys are entertained so i go and play squad battles i choose the highest status squad so that there is there is no you know like compensation there is a player which is equally good or better in the opposition team i am a noob so i have to play to my level and see how the card is the main reason of player reviews is to test the card it's not to sit and win a game is to test the card how he is in all these different positions that is the main a main focus of this these videos so that is another major reason why i don't need to do rivals uh for these player review testing and stuff because it's just long because it's just long people are sweating out nowadays to get wins and to get packs i don't need that so the main reason are my servers are dead whenever i'm sitting and recording or streaming and my servers are very very sweaty so there's no point so to make you guys more entertaining i mean to make these videos more entertaining and to make it viewable i record videos in squad battles now even if after this if that one person doesn't like it there's a dislike button right next to the like button and a bit far from the subscribe button you can hit that no worries all good and uh, now moving on to the defensive stats 94 interceptions 96 stand tackle 94 slide tackle really good stats not gonna lie these defensive attributes look really nice and 98 stamina 93 strength 97 aggression crazy crazy now he also has four uh, playstyle pluses which is long ball plus he has every single playstyle or playstyle plus in defending guys he has intercept plus he has jockey plus and he has a bruiser plus actually not bad actually not bad now let us act, put him in a team and see how he's gonna be in game literally i have just completed till here till till what is this path six or whatever you call this level six i have to complete these two and i don't know when i'm gonna be doing this it's already only 34 days are left to get our 99 hall and we'll see how it goes we'll see how it goes okay guys so this is the team i'm gonna be using fabinho has full cam as always i'm gonna be using him and his uh, preferred position i am gonna be playing squad battle some people might not like it it is what it is i am doing a player review guys at a time where nobody sits and plays champs or rivals and it's a struggle to get games and i am playing the best squad that is there in uh, the squad battles in that week and it is a struggle in general just to win against those teams because i am playing at world class level which is already insane up going up against a 95 96 rated squad which is filled with icons and team of the seasons which are 97 it's it's a nightmare but yeah it is what it is we'll test this card out dribbling passing defending and see how he is in game whether you guys need to use him just because it's a 94 rated player doesn't mean he's bad so we'll test him out and i'll tell you guys how i feel about this card and if you guys feel like okay you might actually give him a shot you can he might be good for you the same thing happened with vargas i didn't enjoy vargas as much as i thought i would but some people in the comments told that he's actually a pretty decent player or person and one person actually enjoyed playing the card so different people have different play styles and Hello, it is what it is this is the main reason for making player reviews i give my review and you guys can let me know how you guys felt about that card so it is a win-win situation for everybody you guys can get to know what mistakes i did and i can and, and i can get to know what what you guys changed with the player that you guys actually found helpful and, and it could enlighten me Fabinho oh that's a crazy through ball that's a crazy through ball not gonna lie passing just been three minutes of in-game time passing is really good on some chicken let I don't know why I keep doing through ball pass look at the passing guys this is the main role of a dm i would say a dm is there to protect the the defensive wall and then at the same time do the job of a midfielder that's a perfect way to describe his role a center defensive midfielder it's not a center back it's not a center midfielder but he's there to to make sure he is the, there is stability between the defense and the midfield like 
he, look at the pace. The pace itself is actually not bad for a CDM. And the passing is actually good. I mean, ignore that. Uh, that's just me, my rotted brain cells, trying to do something different and making a big flop out of it. Even, even as somebody who has players of 97 rated, 96 rated, I would actually use Fabinho in my main squad. He might not be my main starting 11 player, but as a good secondary player, midfielder or a defensive midfielder the main reason i'm using 433 defensive lineup is to show you guys what he can do in the cdm position but you can use him as cm as well you can use him as dm as well i mean uh, center back as well so it is up to you guys you guys have three different positions you can use with him and look at that defensive stand tackle and interception is also really good like this is one reason i want to do players player reviews on free players like this so that everybody gets to know how the players are actually just because they are low rated doesn't mean they're bad and just because they have bad pace on paper doesn't mean they have actually bad pace in game as well now look at that ball i mean dribbling and ball control it did it did say he had like some 80 dribbling or something but that was pretty decent like i can't live with that what a brilliant initial save Look at that pace. Is is it? Does it look like it's only 90 pace? I would say it is like 92 at least minimum. Like it is not bad at all. So yeah, I'm gonna conclude the player review here. I feel like if I do, if I talk more, something bad thing might happen. You guys might get aggravated. So I'm just gonna end the player review here. As of now, I would say Fabinho is really, really a good card. He's a good second choice uh, player to have in your club. And I would definitely recommend trying him out once again. If you guys have got him and, you know, ignored him. See how he is. At least give him a chance. This is this football, guys. We play for FIFA just because we love football. And there's no point in playing a game if you don't like the game. And it, then it just becomes like, yeah, it is what it is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until next time guys, take care, stay safe, stay motivated and keep smiling. Bye bye.